Hi, this is James JP. I'm owner of JP Designs, senior designer at Pro 100 USA, also creator of the Victory Closets catalog in collaboration with Victory Closets LLC out in Pennsylvania. Uh, Greg A. Hart, man, good guy. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to use this catalog. So it's just basically Pro 100. We'll take a new project. We'll just add whatever we want in there, and just for the tutorial's sake, we'll make 60 by 60 room. It isn't really that big, but it's a closet. So in the Victory Closets catalog line, what we can do now, let's see we have accessories, we have panels, so we'll start with our panels. So right here we have a 14 inch deep, we have our 12 inch deep here as well, as you can see there. So if we wanted to grab a center panel, we'll just go with a 72 inch center panel real quick. And what we'll do also here is we'll go with a left panel, 72 inch. And just like all the other Pro 100 features, this here you can use the bypass, hold down shift, you can bypass panels if you want to or bypass parts. We'll take and put that one there. And then we'll grab a 48 inch right panel. So right here what we'll do is we'll just move these off to the side. And if you're familiar with Pro 100, all these keys work exactly the same. So I'll move this over to the side here. And we can go back in here and very quickly grab some uh, shelf parts. So let's go ahead and make, well, let's call this one 24 inches. And we can just drag this over here and we'll put it there. We'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. This way we can see a little better. And see, all I'm doing is putting these on top of the cleats. Right click, I'm copying. You can even copy and paste big parts of it. So just go ahead and grab this, grab that. And we'll copy two at a time. And we'll just hold down shift, bypassing it. Come down here. We'll grab another one, we'll copy that again. So I'm looking at this, I need, a, I need a shelf part. I need some drawers in there. So we'll go to our drawer sets here. And let's say I want a triple set of drawers in here, our 111. So I'll just go ahead and grab that. We'll find ours, uh, let's see, we had 24 inches in there. So we'll grab this one, let's pull it out, and it's very simple, you just go ahead and find uh, your spot here, and even though by it intersects down there, you can still put that there, so it's facing that way. So just like in any other Pro 100 software, or any other Pro 100 build, you can take and rotate that. So now we have that sitting in there. We can rotate it around, see if we got it all the way back, and if not, it's just very simply pushing it in. Again, let's go ahead and put another set of drawers in here. Let's get a 24 inch double set here. Why not, right? Oops, excuse me on that. And see, the collision detect works just fine. So you don't have to worry about intersecting anything and everything is going to fit where it needs to go. We'll put that there. I'm actually gonna put this here too. So now we have our panel in there, and you see all the cleats are lined up. So what if I want to put uh, dividing shelves or shelf, we'll go to our shelf parts again, and we'll put a spacer here. Since we know we have a 14 inch deep spacer, let's take that real quick. We use our hold down shift to bypass it again. And I'll just copy that, put that there, and then I'll just very quickly take make a copy of that and drag this down and now we have a shelf and a divider so now that's for like shoes or something like that of that nature we'll even take all this again I'll make a whole copy of that whole unit so nothing is going to take you very long to build anything in this so now I want to move all this over we'll go ahead and grab this take and move this that way 
Oh, this one's not really lined up too well, so let's push this one. We'll hold down Shift and select. And we'll just align that to the middle there. Now push this one to the back. And if you want to make sure everything is in the middle, we can select both of these units. I don't recommend grouping them just yet, just because if you want to move them around, you can do that. So we'll move everything to that part there. See, I'm using all these Pro 100 features that I've been using just to show you that nothing has changed. So we'll go back here. And we really don't, we want to put a, a rail there. Or a rod on this one. So we'll go ahead and we will grab our rod here. Grab another 24 inch rod. I'll actually just grab this, make a copy of it. Sorry about that. That's our main uh, properties menu if you guys were ever wondering. Hold down left and right click that to make copies. So we'll take this and I'll stick this here. We have our rod for our hang hanging components, our clothes, our suit coats, or things like that. We can take that there. And just because I don't want to go back into where I'm at, I'll take this. right click once you see that square you know you've had you got it right so I'll put that down there if I wanted to put something else down there we could put some more hanging clothes there very quick very simple and as you know Pro 100 keeps it in line as long as you're looking right at it so right here we have a basic part of our closet I'll take this I can just move all this around. And I held down shift to do that and selected everything. So we'll take our closet here. And right now we don't have a price on this. We don't have any materials. We don't have anything on there. We have a complete cut list. All our parts are going to be right here. Everything material consumption wise with no material calculation. So what I'm going to do, first we've got to figure out what we want on this. So we'll go to our textures for Victory Closets. Like if I wanted this nice oil rub bronze body, take and hold down shift, because as you know that takes and retextures everything. We'll copy that there. Pull this back out, hold down shift, we'll put that there. Now we have a nice oil rub bronze on there. So then we'll take this here next. Go back up here. You can very quickly hit that or you can drop down this box. Then you can find all your textures. So let's say if we wanted this all maple, I'll take this. And holding down shift very quickly, I'll retexture my entire panel set. We'll look at this now it's giving me all my materials here. It's letting me know my part number, it's letting me know the price of my closet. So I have now a closet that is $460 as you can see for this particular unit. So if this is what you wanted, you know what you're going to get. So next I'll just go here. Now let's, let's say we want something a little darker. So we'll grab the C1 body style. Move this out here, we'll hold down our shift key again and retexture everything just like that. So now if we go back in here, it's telling us a different price. So that way you know exactly what you're going to pay for, as many components as you're going to put in there. Um, say if I added another shelf and spacer set. So if I just select that, I'll hold down shift. I'll just rotate the room. Go up here, we'll put that there. And now in our calculation, you see that it's added more money because we have more components to it. So it doesn't really matter exactly how you want to texture your, your, your parts. So if you wanted to add different textures, for instance, let's say we want some white shelves just to kind of set it off or offset it. So we'll go here and I'll put white shelves. 
you can do it that way or hold down shift and select all the ones that you want to color and you can drag it that way as well and what that does then gives you more pricing options we have our white body here so that way you can see you have five shelves that are white it adds it up for you uh, there's also other things in the catalog that will come with the uh, full version the full victory closets catalog on this as far as coloring textures things like that um, we'll be making more videos as far as using the things other things to accent the room so that way you can create your closet and your space the way you want to this is just a real brief video on how this is going to work for you this is JP JP designs um, this is for victory closets check them out uh, victoryclosets.com uh, great website uh, great closets great closet line